Ah, the joystick. How nice it is to control your machine with this. Hello, my name's Tim. I'm the inventor of the G-Drive. The G-Drive is a non-traditional CNC controller that provides an easy-to-use, feature-rich control interface for your milling machine. It can be added to a milling machine that has already been converted over to full CNC, coexisting with your CNC setup to provide an easy method of control for those times when you want to run your machine in a manual mode. You know, to do something quick and easy. Or, it can be installed on a fully manual milling machine to provide simple automated machining without the need of a CAD CAM program, any G-code files, or a PC. G-Drive provides a host of useful features and capabilities including power lift with location memory, power feed for the X and the Y axis, power feed for a predetermined distance which I have found to be extremely useful, several drilling profiles, and joystick control of all axes. You can create simple custom programs in the G-Drive of up to 290 moves each. The system stores 112 programs internally. You just simply enter the moves and dimensions right on the controller. Let me show you some of the highlights of the system and I hope you like it. On the G drive, there are two keys that are used for the power lift feature. The Z return key here, and the memory key here. Of course, you can always use the joystick to move the power head up and down, but these two keys provide a convenient and effortless way of doing that. A simple press on the Z return key returns the power head to the topmost position of the Z-axis. You can press and hold the memory key for a moment to quickly store the current location of the Z-axis to return to this position at the touch of the key afterwards. Moving the power head between these two points is now a simple keystroke away. The default initial speed of the power feed feature can be preset from within the configuration menu. When power feed is running, you can adjust the speed with the rotary encoder. The power feed modes are accessed from within the joystick jog modes via the action key. A simple press on the action key and you have entered the power feed standby mode. To begin power feeding, simply push the joystick in the direction that you desire. Turn the rotary encoder to adjust the speed.
press the stop key to stop. While you are in the power feed standby mode, simply key in a distance value on the keypad to power feed to a specific distance. To begin power feeding, simply push the joystick in the desired direction. G-Drive offers three different drilling profiles and the parameters can be defined from within the configuration menu to drill to a specific depth and at a specific feed rate. Setup pilot holes is the first profile. Setup auto drilling is the second profile. Setup peck drilling is the third profile. The Z-axis approach rate, the drilling feed rate, and the drilling depth can be defined for each of these profiles. These profiles can be used in the manual mode as an action, or they can be referenced and used from within a program. From within joystick jog mode, there are a total of four actions that are available. Power feed mode being the default action, but if you turn the rotary encoder, you can choose the desired action including the three drilling profiles. Simply press the green go button to execute the action at the current table position. When the system is idle, simply press the mode key to enter joystick jog mode. The mode key lights green to indicate control of the Z-axis. You can press the key again to switch to the X-axis, and again to switch to the Y-axis. You can also switch the axis using the rotary encoder. And when you are moving the table around, you can use the joystick itself to switch to the axis you want without ever having to take your fingers off the joystick.
There are seven speeds available when using the joystick. There is also a slow motion mode available when you need to carefully move the table a small amount. Press the enter key to enable slow motion mode. At this point, you can move the joystick all the way over to the one side and the table moves very slowly. If you are using the factory lead screws and you have backlash compensation enabled, then the slow motion mode quickly eliminates the backlash when you are changing directions to save you time and your sanity. You can easily create custom programs in the G-Drive that will automatically perform simple machining tasks. These are very useful for milling out square or rectangular shaped pockets or windows, machining bevels, drilling and boring, facing material, etc. In the configuration menu, you will find several applications regarding the available functions related to operations. I call programs operations in the G Drive. You can create, recall, review, delete, and edit operations. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of this as I have more in-depth videos on this area. If you would like to learn more about these, just shout out. When you create a new operation, the G drive informs you of the new operations number. Write this down. You must specify the mem key offset, which is the distance from the tip of the cutting tool to the work surface. After creation of the operation, you will choose and define the elements that you want to include in your program, including direction and distances. First, we must specify the initial feed rates. These might be relatively quick to get you from zero out to where you're going to start to do some machining. You can change the feed rates at any time during the programs.
A few assorted video clips follow to demonstrate the G drive in action executing some operations. Go. 